Welcome back to another Magic the Gathering Online Masters Anniversary 25th Edition Draft Booster Draft Limited Tournament League. I kind of just want to take Mystic Snake. I mean, there's, you know, I got my reasons. Unfortunately, it's not a Jace. But, uh... What the hell? We're not going to open Jace's. We open Mystic Snakes. So we're going to take the Mystic Snake. <laughs> so, you know. Oh, just sad days. Yeah, I'm definitely not taking Bolt over Mystic Snake. That will never happen based on my own personal preferences. I should have got a drink before I started this, but we didn't because we're amateurs. That's okay. I guess realistically we have two more packs to get a Mystic Snake, so... Or a uh, Jace, but... Oh, Reform? It just gets passed to us? What did you take over Reform? The foil is still here, and so are all the uncommons and the rare. What common do you take over this? Wow. I hope any of these three come back. Holy smokes. What do you take over Looter... Reform. That's insane, dude. If any of these come back, I'll be grateful. I doubt any of them will, but whatever. Um, I like Aberration a lot. I might just want to start picking up Accumulated Knowledges early. I don't think... These, these guys are great, but they're not, like, vital. Whereas I think Accumulated Knowledge can be pretty good if you can get, like, three of them. I bet I can get three of them. This is early enough to take a Knowledge. Yeah, I'm just taking the knowledge. Uh... Oh, I like an Analog Survivalist just because uh, it, it, there's a lot of cards in this format that you want to kill with this guy. And it's just nice to have it. I, I think both of these are great. Uh, everyone says the Psy is super impressive, and I honestly have not been that impressed with the Psy every time I have it. I've taken it uh, more often than I, I feel like I otherwise would have because of people's recommendations, and it just never, never really blows me away. I try to love it. But yeah, we're going to go deep on the accumulated knowledge this time. I wish I got a drink. Doomsday. Probably just taking ghost ship here. Uh, what kind of drink? Probably just Diet Mountain Dew. Yeah, I guess I could do that. All right, I'm, I'm going to highlight this ghost ship. I'll bring it back. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. Came back. All right. We good here? Good here? Bad here? All right. Anything good? Twisted Image? Twisted Image actually could be fine. <sighs> Whatever. Johnny Red Neat. Do it. Do it. I don't actually think... Johnny Red Neat. Do it. Do it. I'm going to take this Twisted Image. Ugh. Gross. I guess it's presents in case we get crabbies. Sometimes you get surprise crabs. You never know. Um, Wooly Loxodon's a decent dude. I like Ambassador Oak better on the face, but we got a lot of four drops already. 
I'm gonna take a Loxodon. What the heck? Choking Killers might be able to just win us the game. Wow, none of those cards came back except for the Watch Wolf. That is unfortunate. God, this borrowing a thousand arrows, a hundred thousand arrows is just bad in this format, I think. I mean, the potential is there to, I guess, choking tethers their board and then draw four, but... I think Giant Growth is actually pretty playable in this format. Yeah, this disfigure coming back pretty late was pretty funny. Sometimes you get surprise crabs. You never know. The funny thing is, I actually thought when I said that it was deliberate, I thought I was saying the old one. Uh, sometimes you get late, late crabs or last minute crabs or something. Um, but I guess it's different enough. So, boy... This is just a bad Tamiya. Tamiya does the same thing for, for two more mana, but then you gotta keep a Planeswalker. Sometimes you get surprise crabs, you never know. Sometimes you get late crabs, you know. <laughs> oh, those are very different. Yeah, I don't know if they are that different. All right, you guys ready for the Jace? Oh, yep, yeah, that's not it, as usual. Oh, Chrome of the Vengeance again. I like that the best card in this pack for us is probably Blue Elemental Blast. I want to take the Regrowth because buying back a Snake or a Reform is pretty good. Oh boy, this pack is actually pretty hot garbage. First pick, Regrowth. That's what you want, right? The answer is no. Bow, 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 bow. I'm loving it. That's from McDonald's. Boy, this is taking a while. I got a comment on my my uh, on my MTG Arena videos earlier. And I can't find it now. Look at this, this is another murder, another notion thief, and all we get is an Elvis aberration, which I guess is fine. Whatever. I'm not gonna take I'm not gonna take murders here. Oh, Man of War. I will take a Man of War. Um, trying to find the comment because it was pretty funny. Oh, like he says, he's on a, he's on a, he, he comments on a Masters 25 draft and he says, so any extra packs for MTG Arena? And I'm like, I have no idea what that means. Because like, you can't trade packs on there. <laughs> so like, are you asking if I have extra packs to like open by myself or what are you asking? I don't understand. Eh, whatever. Literally, literally Blue Elemental Blast is the only playable card in that pack, so that's unfortunate.
Oh, lore scale Codal. Codal McSchmodal. Now we got the accumulated knowledge lore scale Codal deck. That's pretty good. Double lore scale codal. <laughs> Song. Yeah, I got extra packs. Oh. Is that what they're referring to? I mean. Yeah, I'm not really on Wizards radar for some reason, so um what it's whatever. <laughs> I mean I just want another accumulated knowledge, that's all. Yeah, but Kenji and Gabby are like Magic's golden children, so. Pirates, appreciate it, buddy. Now we got the snake deck. You can call me Frack. No, don't do that. Don't call me Frack. Um, I think it's actually looter, especially with double coatl. And I also think uh, counter spells are going to be easier to come by in future packs. I played against the old five knowledge the other day. I'll play three knowledges. I don't know if I'd play four. I want to put Twisted Image in the sideboard for now. I'm also not huge on Totally Lost, but... Thirty-two packs does seem like a lot to start, and significantly more than the twelve everyone else gets. Especially because it's a beta. Like, it's an open beta, right? So, like, why are you... Why not just give everybody the pack so that you can get the best testing experience? Seems weird to favor like your like the streamers that I don't know. I am still not a brainstorm fan, even with Coatl. I know it's weird. Bear. Because it just it's it's such a do nothing card. It's such a dirtily do nothing card unless you have lore scale codal. No, oh, freed from the real. Last pick freed from the real. I'll take that. That ain't bad. I'll put the presence in the sideboard. Freed is just basically removal, right? It's just basically pacifism with a with a one blue upkeep. Oh, Blue Sun Zenith, the other card that we open every single time. That isn't Jace. Hooray! But, that ain't but Brainstorm, the most card. powerful spell in all of Legacy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that quote's friggin' great. Um, This pack is fantastic. I want Cram, I want Mana War, I want Epic Confrontation, I want Invigorate, I want a Blue Sun, and I want Murder of Crows. I don't think it's Crab. The only card we have that goes with Crab right now is Freed from or uh, Presence of Gone, and I don't think that's great. I'd rather just take a Man of War or Murder of Crows here. I think it's actually Murder of Crows. Oh, I like both of these bad Larrys. Oh boy, boy, oh boy, huh? Oh. Oh man, Baloth Null is so good, dude. Baloth Null gives us more of a chance to get the black mana. And we also have a Disfigure in the board. Animar of Souls. I don't know the odds of us having that red mana that early, especially because we don't have anything like Cultivate. 
We could just take Counterspell or Crozan Tusker for the safes, but I actually think it's one of the stronger cards. Animar of Souls having pearl white and black is pretty insane. I want to take Baloth Null. I think it's easier to cast. I also think we can get uh, like a Crow Sand Tusker. I want to take Mana War number Dose. That is the accumulated knowledge we want, which is number three, which is the perfect number. Two can be as sad as one, but it's the loneliest number since the number one. Maybe we just want four. This is really, this is what you guys want? So I'm actually okay with this. I'll, I'll play four if it's our only, like, dedicated card drawing. Plus we got the double coattles. Ooh, I like a Genju of the Falls. Oh, I like a brood hatch in Nan Nan Nantucky. I'll take a Nantucky. We still don't have a way to play Bailoff Null, unfortunately. We have no way to get a black mana. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm not going to take five. I will take a Wild Heart Invoker. Oh, this is the pack, isn't it? Dang, that's sad. I can play Colossal Dreadmaw over Bailoff Null if we actually have to. Uh, I don't want Fathom Seeker because we already have four accumulated knowledge. So there's definitely going to be times where we have more cards in hand and we have to just discard. And then if we're putting four more cards in our hand from Fathom Seeker, I'm not a big Fathom Seeker fan, to be quite honest. I'm going to take Primal Clay just because it blocks Fear Guys if we have to. I guess we could play one Swamp. It's not bad. We do have a Looter and four accumulated knowledges. Uh, definitely not playing 15 lands. Wow, this is a late Angelic Page. I don't think that Angelic Page should still be in that pack. But what do I know? I like a lull. A lull has definitely won us some games in the sideboard. Coral Helm. Coral. 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 I like two blue elemental, ba blah, 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 elemental blasts in the sideboard. That's pretty good. Oh. This is 24 cards. You're going to go here, you're going to go here. I could just play this guy as a 1-1, one, one, to be quite honest, and just make them run into it. I'm not going to go down to 24. I'm not going to play 16 lands and another 6 drop. Like, that's ridiculous. That's just ridiculous. This also 17 creatures. I could see getting rid of you. And then playing... Uh, 16 lands. So I actually like 17 lands. I mean, we have a lot of cards. But we also have a lot of ways. Like, uh, I'm less... I'd rather have enough lands to play these and not, like, get bottlenecked. Uh, definitely want more of this. Well, not more, but we want 881, I think. Uh, I, hmm, I like this as a 3-drop. 
Maybe Dreadmaw is better. I don't know. 6-6 six, six or 6-7. Six, like, this is a 7-drop, a 6-7. Six, Dreadmaw is a 6-6, six, 6-drop. Six, six but this is also the versatility of having this on 3 is really good. I like Wooly Locks not over Colossal Dreadmaw. I, I think Colossal Dreadmaw is good, but I, I do like the the versatility of Loxanon. Oh my god. Oh, hi, Mark. Yeah, see, like, this hand we can actually keep because we can play Locks on 3. If this is a 6-drop, it's just a completely different hand. Yeah, the worm's real good. What do you do? Just not attack? Pfft. Keep on worming in the free world. Oh, that's a good draw. We have four cumulative knowledges and a merfolk looter. Let's see where they are. Oh my god. Can you imagine the term we just go accumulated knowledge number four? Oh, we got Sheepy. That's old Sheepy. Just wanted to say I enjoyed the Rob episode I saw on YouTube. Rob's a good dude. He's a funny guy. We should get him in here more often. I should message him and be like, hey, Rob, let's uh, let's do another jig. Uh-oh. It's a morph. I like bouncing the morph because then we know what it is. I like not... I like drawing lands, too. I don't know if you guys knew that about me. Oh, it's a Mystic of the Hidden Temple. Some type of Mystic of the Hidden Way. I will assume that's... Oh, that was a good draw. Get my worm on. Hop out of bed. Any land here for Murder of Crows is pretty okay. I'm a mystic of the hidden way. Yeah, buddy, we know. Some type of way. Give me a land so I can play this Murder of Crows. Thank you. This guy. Speaking of which, how did you meet Lisa? You never told us. Oh, that's a very interesting story. When I moved to San Francisco with two suitcases and I didn't know anyone and I have, and I have, I hit YMCA with a $2,000 check that I, what? Is that from the movie? I actually don't remember that part. God, I knew they had the pacifism. Oh, God. It's almost worth 
totally losting it just to get it back, but we also have Survivalist. Watch, we're going to draw Bailoth and Eldo. You ready? I'm just trying to represent the simulation that we live in by telling you we're going to draw Bailoth and Eldo off the top. All right, unblockable guy, flying guy. And my only flying guy has a pacifism on him. Seems good. You've been hit by... You've been struck by a smooth criminal. Wow, you don't even block with the fleece, the fleece, the fleece ram. Interesting. So we can actually one, two, three, four. We can actually play this guy and flip it next turn, which is pretty good. Or we can just play wild hearted book. I'm gonna play this guy. I guess we take five here, that's pretty bad. Are this reform that uh that was gonna be so so damaging to our opponent? It's not looking good. Interesting. I think we're dead. We could bounce the passives and block here, but it doesn't seem great. A smooth criminal. Well, to be fair, many creatures are bad when you get your block step taken away. That's fair. That is a fair point, my friend. They also gain like six life so far, which is not great. No blocks. Okay. You've been hit by, you've been struck by. Look at this aggressive guy. He's going to 21. They're basically dead now. We're definitely bouncing this guy. Take two. Boom, 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 boom. So, what do we do now? So we can play Kotal and Wildheart Invoker? That's pretty good. Alright, well, 
big things aplenty. So they draw Mystic of the Hidden Way here. They didn't play anything last turn, which is interesting. So I guess they just play Mystic here. Play him face down. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder why, instead of just spending the five. I guess because you can also like murder something on our turn and uh, flip it on your turn again. Just better use of mana. Yeah, if they played Zealot post-combat, we actually, they would have just drawn this and played it last turn and we'd be in bad shape. That is an interesting uh, observation. I have not drawn one card off this Murder of Crows, which is kind of comical. Wow, that was a good draw, but this guy still kills us, doesn't he? You've been struck by a smooth criminal. I guess we're alphaing here, except for the worm. <laughs> doop, 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 doop. Do, 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 do. So three, so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Sure. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It's real close. Seems good. Um, Yeah, we're just going to pass like this. We want to murder of crows as many things as we can if we are able to. Man of War one time. Survivalist is good because it lets us block, but we need to deal with this guy, so it's actually real sad. Yep, and dead. All right. Um, or were they Esper? So, no, no good. I mean, Disfigure is probably pretty good here. Brood Hatch and Antuko can come out. That seems fine. I mean, we can deal with... We can uh, try to hit our one swamp there. That seems fine. I mean, the problem is with Dreadmaw, we wouldn't have had that many turns to actually play it. Ideally, we'll hit Island Island. That's not an island. What up, check two? Well, this guy's not going anywhere. Blue. Island. It's gonna give me a, it's gonna give me cumulative knowledge. Because we said blue first and not island first. I just wanna draw my card. Universe is a simulation. Yeah. I 
unbelievable. <laughs> you can see the matrix. You're the one. <laughs> oh, crying out loud. Okay, is it me or does it happen way too frequently? Like, at what point is it actually a weird thing? Sure, doing good. Doing good here at the forests. Oh, boy. Yeah, it's like that clip where I called Pilgrim, or yesterday when I said I'm going to draw a Plague Wind right off the top instead of a land, and it was Plague Wind. It's like every time. It's like every single time. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's the other one. That's the, yeah, this clip in the chat right now is the one with the, uh, the, the Plague Wind, right? You know what? I take both your friends out. That's why they have counterspell. I have a counterspell in my hand. No? All right. Seems good. I, I wish we had reform out, then we get a 3-3 three -three out of it. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, a little batty. Little bats magats. Today has not been our Are you are you serious, dude? Come on. This is ridiculous. That is the question. I can't tell if I'm clairvoyant and I saw the future or if I uh, affected the future by saying accumulated knowledge. It's hard to say. Well, I guess there's gonna, just going to be an island on the top of our deck now. Let's see if I can affect the future. Just, a, just an island sitting on the top. Like you do. So, to be clear, Jace can bounce five creatures right now. Seems good. It's going to be a blitz. Well, this is a fun round one. Yep. Give me, give me, give me that knowledge. Because you said blue first and not island first. I 
That's why I'm throwing my card. Universe is a simulation. <sighs> hey, we found those islands everyone was looking for. Why did you get why did Monster? Why are you like this? I will draw. I'll uh, discard a forest. Yes, I will draw. Discard. Oh, I like a Genju of the Falls here. Um, so we're gonna go play one, two, three, one for this, one, two, activate, play. I guess we do get rid of the reform. And don't you know that it's a fool who draws with Jace? Book, 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 book. I don't want to discard the knowledge just because it's a trick with lower scale codal. The first one isn't that good. <laughs> well, you're going to bounce this guy? That's cool. We might be able to kill the Jace now with the Genju. But then we don't get to replay Murder of Crows. Murder of Crow Sand Grip. So one, Genju on here. Nope, that's not gonna do it. God, we're we're doing it. Woo! Oh my god, are we winning this game? Are we coming back, boy? They have four cards. Oh, surprised haste creature. They No one ever sees the Genju. No one should ever see the Genju, because look at that creepy thing. I feel like killing Jace, it does count as a win. I feel like every time you kill your opponent's Jace or win a game where your opponent played a Jace Unlimited, you should get a free pack. Oh, a little Sheep Arena. You have three cards and your one of your first plays was Sheep Arena? Give me an Anok Survivalist. I'll take, a, I'll take Big Snakes, number dose. Who plays it cool? I've got all these snakes every day. But don't you know that it's a mass murder of crows? Who plays the fool? Wow, this song is real deep in my head right now, dude. What? What's going on right now? No, you gotta message me if you wanna trade me. I can't be in the middle of a game. You can't be trading me in the middle of a game, bro. Blue haste is hard to come by. But don't you know that it's so fun? Oh, a white is this pacifism number two on my coat, my coat man, my coat snake. Oh, this stupid thing. Okay, okay. I hope giant growth resolves. 
Because this dude's actually pretty scary. No joke. No lie. I will attempt to block. I mean, this guy's going down anyway, so. Might as well see if we can two for one you. Do not have. You got two cards. Two cards. And one of them's a murder. Because, of course, it is. No, one of them's not a murder. Oh! 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 Oh, a looter. Well, now we're going to discard the uh, the knowledge. Because looter's just a better man. Can't find a better man. He dreams and fishes. He dreams and Can't find a better man. Oh, I see. Well, then. Accumulated knowledge number two. That's what we want to see. Oh, four, five, six. Then we can still bounce this. Oh boy. Oh wow, that was a great draw. I think we just won this game with the uh with where they played Jace against us. Yeah, I figured you'd do that, but that's okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Old Nully. Oh, Reform and Mana War. Both of those are good. Ping. Get out of my face. Where is my sweet boy Michael? Oh, the, the, the match you had the Jace against us is the match we win. I understand now. Universe is a simulation. <laughs> Twisted image good? It kills that sheep on the spot, doesn't it? It also kills, um, like if they have Fallen Angel, it's good. If they want to sack, if they want to go all in on that. I actually kind of like Twist Image. I can go 41 with this deck. Boom, 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 boom. Blue pacifism doesn't take care of Jace is my problem. Whereas twisted image is the perfect like I just want to I just want to flip a, a sheep early and and do the deed. Uh, I'll keep this in hopes that we hit a green. Oh, also we can twist the image our own reform. <gasps> Gas. Wow. All right. We're doing good here. I'm on the, the reform train. Oh, really? That's your thing? Dang it. Where's the... Come on, forest. Also, Twisted Image triggers lower scale codal. Boy, this hand is gas, dude. I want to hit that reform. I'm going to hit Reefy Boy. Look at this. Triple swamps, huh? So this is probably just a mystic of the hidden temple. Give me a forest. Come on. Just stop. I guess we're going to find out what you are. Yeah, you were mystic of the forest. Mystic of the hidden temple. I don't know why I said forest there. I think it's because I was like, give me a forest, and they didn't give me a forest. I'll play him again. You gonna murder this guy? Nope. Okay. I think we just take two here. I don't want to trade with this guy because you're taking damage from that guy anyway. We can just bounce your other dude. 
Um, that's actually pretty okay. We can do that next turn though, right? I'm just gonna keep playing that dude. Oh, a prism. Well, that's that means you're doing nothing this turn. I drew a planes. I don't even mind Anax Survivalist killing this thing because that's a good source of blue manas for you. Look at all this damage you're taking. Let's just draw a forest naturally. Can we do that? Nope, still gonna take it. Natural forest. Why are you like this? I don't understand. It's really weird to me. Whatever. I almost want to get the... Uh, I guess we can't. We can't actually get a swamp, so we'll just get the forest. Because we have to. We can also just play Annex Survivalist naturally. But that also doesn't seem great. I'd rather just put you to 10, which puts you to 9. And then we take 3, which puts me to 11. What up, Satsuga? Satsuga? Oh, that guy just got eaten. All right. I mean, when they have Pacifism and uh, Prophetic Prism, there's no reason to just play Survivalist here. We can just actually play it next turn. If we hit a land, we can play it. Otherwise, we can keep Coatl and Twisted Image. Or we can just play Reform. Hitting a land naturally there would have been great, but we're still fine. We have They have six cards. We have six cards. In six turns, we will hit a Pocket of Forests. You're 100% right. Yeah, they also have Lunark, uh, Mantle. I imagine that's the same Mystic that you've been replaying over and over. That's what we wanted. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just reform here, and if they try to do something... What? Really? That's pretty cool. If they try to do anything to the reform, like bounce it, we can just twist it, image it. Oh, that seems so such gas. This is where they pacify our reform. Oh, and then we get to just block. Ugh. Pillory? Oh, it's Manowar. They're going to Manowar reform. Also cute. Get to draw a card and make a 3 3. This is so much better than just replaying it next turn. <laughs> Oof. Well, now they can pacify this, though. But we have Anox Survivalist in hand. Pillory? What? No! Double Mana War. Well, we couldn't play around that, really. <sighs> what a way to go. They also have four minutes where we have 14. <laughs> so, you know. Wow, that was so that was so sad. What are the odds they have double mana war there? Come on, don't be like that. And eh, we're just gonna pass here. If we attack, they just block with mana war. I'd rather have a mana war to block their mana war. 
I guess. I don't know. It's all Mana War turns pretty insane. Still drew a land. Uh, I don't know if that's great. This is game three, yes. Just murder the lore scale. Murder vindicate the woolly loxodon. Interesting. Isn't lore scale codal just a bigger threat to you? No, you just have a murder too. You just have murder. Your hand's just mana war, mana war, murder, vindicate. Got it. No? I don't know what's going on right now. Oh, this is aggressive. I guess we're taking four, blocking this guy. Swamp would be great. Regrowth is actually not bad. I guess we can regrowth either Mana War or Twisted Image, right? Or not Twisted Image, Reform. <laughs> but then they can just do some shenanigans. Do you have any two drops we could play? We could just play Survivalist. Re you know, regrowth. <sighs> Twisted Image doesn't do anything in our graveyard. I think it's either Mana War or Reform here. I think Mana War is the safer bet. We'll see what resolves before we start doing things. Well, I guess we're attacking for three here. If they can kill this guy and also deal four with the cards in their hand, I'll be impressed. Yep, so they did have the murder. They just slow rolled it for us. Like you do. I will block. <laughs> well, Mystic Snake seems good if we can survive this turn. I think we're just taking two. What a four here. We also have totally lost, which is good. All right, land is good. Don't play anything. Uh, you're gonna play something. Wow. Six mana. Noble Templar. Okay. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can't do both of these things, which is sad. They also have two minutes to win this game. Oh, this is great. Because we don't have to actually do anything here. I hope you don't have anything. They always do, though, don't they? Oh, fantastic. I don't think there's a reason to flip that up. That's pretty okay. All right, now I'm feeling okay about this game. 
Especially because we know what they're gonna draw. Three, four, five, six. Mystic Snake, are you winning the game for us? Because that's all we really want. Oh my goodness gracious. Wins the match. Oh, and we would have drawn this guy, but we had no black. Into Forest. Into Accumulated Knowledge, which would have hit three cards. One, two, three. Draw for the turn. All right, so nothing really... Yeah, all right. That's great. Yeah, let's actually put Twisted, uh, Twisted Image in the deck. I like that a lot. Especially with... Uh, Reef, reform. What are we taking out? I think we just played on 25. I like our uh, 41. I think this is 40. We can do 41. I'm fine with that. Yeah, we'll keep this hand. I think we wait to lower scale codal. Or we wait to accumulate knowledge until we can codal. Wow, I can't believe we won that last match. That's insane. Turn one, Loyal Century. Okay. Well, everybody makes misplays in Games of Magic. That's the... I mean, no one plays perfect Games of Magic, but... No blocks. Nothing. Against the blue-white deck, I'm pretty sure we can just run Lower Scale Codal out there safely. Loyal Sentry is really obnoxious, though. Leovold, we actually just won against the Jace the Mind Sculptor deck, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's card super annoying. Oh, wow. No blocks. Where's a mana war when you need it? Man, their defenses are so strong. Ooh, that's a good that's a good boy. I don't know if it's good here though, but it's it does a thing. I feel like we just want to find answers to this guy though, right? The snake is going to be big, but the problem is they got the stupid loyal sentry. I hope they put a pacifism on this guy. <laughs> I think we just flip, kill this guy in the blocks, kill the pacifism, everybody wins. Hey, 
everybody win. I also hope we don't just die to this Geist of the Moors in five turns, because we don't have any flyers or removal, but... You know. Sometimes magic is as magic does. Oh, another... Can I get my, like, ghost ship? Oh, that's, a. Uh, it's close. It's close to a ghost ship. I'm not quite sure how to help you with that. That's pretty good. Flyers are actually very good in this format. Correct assessment. I actually just want the cards here, to be quite honest. God, if only I could attack into your stupid idiots. God, Loyal Sentry is surprisingly good. I think I might underestimate Loyal Sentry. I mean, I guess that there's certain decks that just have tons of answers for them, like uh, Disfigures and whatnot, so. I mean, I have to assume that the blue-white deck has a uh, counter spell just waiting for us, right? Oh, they're just going to tap out for another... Nope. No, you like to keep the two islands up, huh? That's good. Two, two forests. Stay classy, magic. Stay classy. A brood hatch, Nantucket. And you're going to counter it. We're going to go to two, and we're going to have literal no answer because we don't have any one card that can deal with two flyers. I guess we could play this, draw three, one, two, three, and still dead. All right. Good times. Oh, the disfigure wasn't even in there, actually. We boarded that in. Yeah. 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 Might be a freed from the real time. Brood Hatch and Antugo can come out for a freed from the real. Sure. Sure. Brian, what's going on, buddy? Buddy. I never messaged you back, so you're sad right now at this very moment. That's a weird. That's a weird turn of events. I would have thought you would have been sad when I didn't message you back instead of right this moment. Yeah, this is fine. Turn three into turn four. I just got wow. Right now, that seems late. This is some late sadness. Is late sadness when you what you get when you get late crowd? Yeah, it's the the sadness is oh, the sadness is uh takes place at the same time the crabs do. This is a winning hand, if you ask me. Oh, a a, a catheter. No way you attack. Do you attack? That would be insane. You would be a maniac. I 
some type of way. I feel like we're just passing here, right? I don't think we win this race. We gotta wait for bigger dudes. Bigger fish to fry. Some type of way. You're gonna flip your mystic? God, it's always mystic of the hidden way. God, it always is mystic. Sure. Well, now we're gonna get aggressive. Oh, that's that's annoying. Do I really want to counter this with a mystic snake? Yes. Because I don't want to hold it in my hand. I just want to attack you for like a million. And I want to be able to attack into you without worrying about that guy. I might just play that dude. Do we play that dude or we just attack for f like a million? Like a million. So we go one to activate. We also don't have a second green source right now. I guess we do if we, whether we cast this or cycle it, we still do. So I guess we're just attacking. Now regrowth is good. Cause we can get back a mystic snake with the regrowth and cast it in the same turn. Oof, brutal. Brutal. If we draw a swamp here, we can kill this guy and replay this guy. not what we're looking for but we're just gonna keep playing lands um get rid of this guy so we take four go to ten fingers crossed for pacifism i guess i don't know uh this game seems pretty unwinnable right now That's a good one. That is a good one. We're gonna draw, f yeah, another island, of course. Oh boy. Sure. Boy, I sure wish this guy had vigilance. Got source of plashers? Cloud shift your mana war. Boy, that disfigure's looking real good right now. Bounce the ghost ship attack for, for eight. Yeah, we're just gonna go. We're just gonna. I guess we have this guy to block here. Sure. So we only take we only go to three. We're only dead on board to the mystic. I always love watching matches where you're in it. Then when you're not, you have outs and lands are the answer. Yeah, I mean, what can you do? I have to assume they just have counterspell for our ghost ship. No? No, just another mystic. All right, mono mystics dot deck, I guess. Yeah, cool. All right. 
like you do. We have one black card in the deck. We also have four accumulated knowledges. And, uh... So, I mean, like, I, I, I think one swamp is more than fine. I'm pretty sure I know how many black cards are in my deck. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. <laughs> oh. Oh, this hand seems amazing. Ideally, this will win us a game. Keep. Keeps. Sneeps. Don't care about that. Wow, Fathom Seer run out as a 1-3. Interesting. Sure. <laughs> oh, boy. I have another Diabolic Edict. I'll murder this guy immediately. All right. No? M morph? M m m m m m m morph? Okay. Uh, always yes, always yield. Ideally, there will no longer be lands, because seven is really as far as I want to get. No point in attacking. They just block and regenerate. I agree with you. That is definitely the wrong way to play a Fathom Seer. Wow. The Will of the Wisp dot deck. Will of the Wisp dot deck over here. I have no words. Hey, that's pretty good. Are these guys enchantments or artifacts? No? Alright, well. That's unfortunate. Let's draw a card. Okay, we did it. Thankfully, like, the guys aren't too great. They're, 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 yeah, they're going to flip their Mystic of the Hidden Way. Oh, Vesuvian Shapeshifter. Oh, boy, that's a... That's a combo, isn't it? Okay, draw two every turn. Oh, my God. Yep. Boy, today has not been our day, huh? Sure. 
culture. Draw two more cards. All right, well, I guess we're going to kill their Fathom Seer, so that's something. It's okay, they're only drawn four. Oh, I think it's four cards. It's not terrible. It's pretty bad. Sure. Yep. Deal. We're trampling, I wanna trample with you. We're trampling, and I hope you like a trampling too. Let me tell you a good accumulated knowledge would have been this turn instead of a land. This gotta be a nine. So we'd be a ten next turn, and we trample for fifteen basically a million. Oh, well, that's pretty good, but not right now. They also have five cards in hand, so we just target this guy, and it's pretty bad. I'll let you respond first. Sure. Can we do it? 12 damage, that's pretty good. They go to two? Well, isn't that a thing? Through jamming, jamming, jamming. Yep. I mean, they're at two. It's pretty good. They have a shapeshifter on board, which is not ideal. But we get to untap the Mystic Snake up. I guess that's a thing. Yep. Man. Every game. Did you get the Eat a Will the Wisp here? Cool. Diabolic Edict. And if we draw black, we have 10 mana, which is Baloth Null plus Lore Scale Codal or Wild Heart Invoker, which is pretty good. Sure. Of course, they play the Brown Lemons with one turn. We don't have Mystic Snake mana up. Um, I actually think we run out Mystic Snake because they have to block it with... They have to block at least one. They have to block both. So, sure. No, they have to block one. Dang it. I forgot this guy didn't untap. That's unfortunate. Yep, I think it's just game now. 
pretty sure we just definitely lose to uh, Brian Elemental Vesuvian Shapeshifter because we don't have answers to that. That's cool. I'm not sure there's anything we can actually get. Oh my god, does that win us the game? <laughs> wow. Genju of the Falls off the top. That was gas. Woo! Well, this figure is definitely coming in. We're also going to add a second... Now we're going to add a second swamp. Take an island. Actually, double blue, double blue... Let's take out the forest over the island. Wow, that was friggin' ridiculous. Take out Nantuko for freed from the real. Yeah, that seems better. That was pretty insane. Wow. I called that Genji, but how's the chat froze? I'm like, yeah, sure. Sure you did, David. Sure you did, buddy. I believe you. Lore scale codal. No lore scale codal? We're jamming. You need to set your video with more contrast? You're looking very pale. Uh, that's not a contrast thing. That's a saturation thing, right? I could probably up my saturation. Let's see if we can do that. Watch. There we go. How's that? Yeah, that. <laughs> nice. All right. So I should be a little redder now. A little more human colored. For crying out loud. I kind of like that, to be quite honest with you. Because <laughs> we have no real way to deal with this guy, so I'm just going to tap him forever. Or try to, anyway. They get to draw a card, but... we like Bayloth Null is like one of our only answers for this thing, so... Wow, there's a lot of uh, a lot of things you're doing here. I think we're just gonna take a turn off here. We can keep up Mystic Snake. Uh, I'd rather just tap this guy down though, so they don't draw an extra card. I wanna jam it with you. We're jamming. Yeah, I'll play a morph creature. Sure, buddy. Whatever makes you happy. Ah. 
Oh, this is where they flip up copy shot of my jumble trader. Oh, they're just going to make me sacrifice my guy. Oh, no, we're not doing that. God, both of these are, like, this is an amazing two cards in a row. If this is a shapeshifter, like, these are just very, very powerful. <laughs> Alright, so I don't think this is shapeshifter, otherwise I probably would have made an infiltrator draw an extra card there. Gonna pass here. I might just block the morph with Mystic Snake. And then just get them both back with Bayloth Null. The problem is we need one, two, three, four blue mana to do this, this, and this. So if we draw an island, we can do it all. This is pretty good. Yeah, I'm just going to counter this. Just to have a dude on the board. Oh, you're just going to... Just going to exclude it. Seems good. How about I draw a disfigure? That'd be great. I just want to kill your Morv. Your Morv. That's not it. <laughs> In case you guys weren't sure. Pact of Negation. That'd be sick, right? No. But no. Oh, there we go. Elvish Abrazione. Seven. So we can go eight. One, two, three, four. Play Invoker. Keep up Mystic Snake. Which is, again, literally one turn too late. I mean, if those are both of the pieces, which I have, have to believe they are when they have Merfolk Looter. Yeah, they just flip that guy up. Copy. I don't know. Sure. It's an interesting choice. I mean, I'm going to let them both get through. I'll block... The what? You just put it right back down? That's weird. Now we know what it is. So this is clearly not Brine Elemental. This is a card I don't care about. Interesting. Hmm. That seems great. So we can bounce Shapeshifter and then counter on the way back down. Because we know this is a shapeshifter, so. I like that you told us that. That was very nice of you.
And then I feel like we're in much safer shape. If they do have a bait morph, it's it's bad. I mean, we know that's bad. I don't think this is I don't think this is it. They know we have Mystic Snake. I want to I'm going to wager that's not even it. Four, I guess we can just go aberration here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. He's playing those mind games together. Like, they know we have Mystic Snake, and they played that way too quickly, so. Horseshoe Crab in the trash can. I mean, whatever the next morph is, I'm countering it. Because if they had... If this this is not Brian Elemental, otherwise they wouldn't have... They would have just went off. They would have just flipped the Brian Elemental and then flipped the Shapeshifter next turn. So... Also, if this was Shapeshifter, they probably would have just cast it, hard cast it, to, like, copy Mana War, copy Baloth Null. So it just doesn't make sense that that would have been a Mana War there. Or uh, a Shapeshifter, rather. Playing those mind games together. Three, four, six, seven, eight. And then we can just play uh, an island afterward. Now nah, we can just pass here. We'll just start attacking next turn. <laughs> here, this is where they, have, they flip with the Mystic of the Hidden Way on the end. Some type of hidden way. Something's happening. Path of Peace, that guy. Well, that is a relevant card. I accept. Interesting. Totally lost, huh? Okay. You have four cards in your hand that are better than totally lost. That is interesting to me. This guy I'll probably counter. Just because I can't, like, I can't wait any longer. Yeah! <laughs> That's nice. Oh, boy, that was great. That's what we wanted to see. It's actually pretty good. They don't have any float. This guy floats. Oh, that's annoying. Do we actually even attack here? They just block with... Oh, they don't have mana up, so yes, we do. All right. But then they go, what is this, 3, 6, 1, f they could just double block here and block with any 2, 2.
Got three. First, first blood. I'm just going to draw here. It doesn't make sense to not draw here. Oh, boy, that's interesting. I'm tempted to just kill the Will-O-The-Wisp here. I don't think this... This is a decoy. I don't think this is anything good at all. I do want to kill one of these two, though. Probably best to kill the Will-O-The-Wisp. But I guess we can hold it in that case, right? Also, one of them could be a Fathom Seer as well. Let's not forget that. Shanala, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Salt Eye Brood. Oh, uh... All right, um, oh, God. Also, Adam JM, uh, who was the one who traded with me earlier, said, sorry, I should have messaged first free Jace pack. <laughs> so definitely a free Jace pack, uh, ideally. I'm going to just kill the Will of the Wisp. I think it's just better to get it out of the way. Nephrium, thank you so much for the two months sub. Really appreciate it. My favorite monochromatic streamer. I like it. Oh, sweet. Turns out all his morphs are shapeshifters. Oop. Awesome. Adam, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. That also puts us up to six packs. So if we lose this match, we still have two drafts left. Awesome. Thank you. That is awesome. We also take them off of flying blockers. Like, they're still digging, right? So... They played a planes and then they looted. That's interesting. Makes me think they have more than yep. All right, more than one, one more than one land in hand. So this is just a brine elemental, right? So I'll just block a Mystic Snake Mana War. Yeah, this attack is super interesting. Intriguing. Okay, block you. Double block you. And just... Take three, we're at 19. Is this guy coming? This guy too? Sure. I mean, the worst is Brian Elemental, right? So this is probably a Fathom Seer. If you flip it, you don't get to kill anything. You draw two cards. This is probably the Brian Elemental. Interesting. Returning Shadow Mage Infiltrator to your hand. That's a one for one as far as I'm concerned, right? Oh, you're flipping Ruthless Ripper. It was Ruthless. Well, there was a there was a Ruthless Ripper. Who knew? Oh, and the other one was a Karana Zealot. Interesting. Just replay Shadow Mage Infiltrator? Chroma's Vengeance. Oh, boy. The tech.
We don't really have a reason to not play this island here. Sliderman with the three month sub. You deliver great magic content. I hope this sub buys you a slice of pizza or something. I imagine it may. Oh, look, they played this guy instead of the, uh, the other guy. Well, I guess we're going to pass here because... Sure. They have one card in hand? This is a May ability though, right? So they're not going to deck themselves. Regrowth. It's actually pretty good. Should have actually played crows first, because if they have a removal spell, but if they have a removal spell, they're likely just going to kill the crows. So... This infiltrator is going to be annoying. Good lord. So they can think of a four counters on it right now. That's pretty brutal. So, alright. Well, I would say they're in top deck mode, but they have a Shadow Mage Infiltrator, so. And a Will of the Wisp. We attacked here because they're going to put counters on this anyway and kill all the things. I guess we just play this guy for the triggers. One, two, three. That's not what we wanted to do at all, but all right. I guess we'll... Yeah, we could afford... Yeah, but like that's just... I mean, they're going to do it on our end step, which is pretty bad for us. This just doesn't do anything right now. It just gets blocked by Will of the Wisp. It's not a great play. Like, we could put two more counters on it now, but, like, we just lose Murder of Crows, and then we time walk ourselves, so that we still take four. Like, it's just not great. I'd actually rather just draw the card from the extra Murder of Crows. Oh, well, that's why we didn't want to play the stupid forest. That's why it was a misclick. Oh, God, that's so frustrating. So now if we even... We can't even Murder of Crows successfully. That's exactly why I wanted to play the stupid thing, so that we can loot. Um, yeah, that would have been good. Yeah. Kill the Will of the Wisp and we can keep getting in there for three, but. Yeah, that's pretty brutal. The stupid misclick was the, the worst part. Had absolutely no desire to play a forest there. Yep, so we would have drawn forest instead. Next turn we would have drawn accumulated knowledge, which would have drawn us two cards into a lore scale still fine and a regrowth would have been great there all right well <sighs> what can you do i like i almost like coral helm guide here a chroma's vengeance is really really annoying I don't hate Primal Clay. Freed from the Rail might be too cute. And I almost like... Dreadmaw overly locks it on because of, because of the stupid Will of the Wisps. Might be better than Aberration, actually. I still like this guy because he's early. Yep, we'll keep it. 
Let's do it. Oh my god, every game with these idiots. Oh, that was a good draw. This hand is gas, you're right. Ooh, Lutso Toots. Looty McScooty. A trade? Trade City? No? Okay. Okay. Oh, old Shadow Mage Infiltratio. Is it Invoker or is it Lore Scale Cody? It's probably Invoker here, because next turn we can go Knowledge and Invoke, uh, Knowledge and Coatl if we hit a land. Plus, we're rich at being really aggressive right now, which is kind of nice. Come on, one time we can do this. Hmm. Return Phalanx. Oh, play a Planes. No Planes. Okay. Well, maybe you'll play Planes after you Shadow Mage Ultra. Morph. Sure. Oh, Bricking on Lands is good. Can you explain me a quirk in Moto's League prize structure? A quirk? What do you mean? Also, thank you for the thank you for the cheers, buddy. Really appreciate it. Um, I'm gonna flip with everyone, and by flip I mean attack. Interesting. Is it Dragon's Eye? It's Dragon's Eye, isn't it? Ruthless Rippy. No, why you do this? Well, that's just sad. Mm -hmm. Man, these main face loots are great, dude. I'm 2 0. My opponent is 1 1. If he wins, we get two packs each. If I win and we split, it's three packs each. What did they reveal to Ripper? Will of the Wisp number dose. I hope they try to disfigure my lore scale codal. They did not. Um, yes. Okay, I believe you. Jump in divine. Rock your body in time. Okay, I believe you. So you go to three here? Deal. Well, you were pretty far off from Akroma's Vengeance, so I feel like we're in good shape here. This was the aggressive star we needed. All three of these have to be blocked. And I don't know if Will of the Wisp is up for the job. This stream has the best music playlists. All right, you got it. If that's a dude that can block a thing. Hmm. Keep the land in the hand. Just make something unblockable. And even if you have disfigure. 
Feels pretty, feels good. All right, got him. Got him. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. If you guys haven't done so, smash those like and subscribe buttons. And uh, I post new videos every day at 11 a.m. Eastern time and sometimes at 11 p.m. Eastern time. So be sure to check those out as well. And I'll see you guys next time.